Welcome everyone to Race Face TV and our very first episode for the WKA and the name of the show is called Race Life Spotlight and that's exactly what we're going to do tonight. We're going to be spotlighting one of WKA's up and young coming drivers. So we're going to go up to York, South Carolina where we find Sophia Dorego. Hey Sophia, how are you doing tonight? Good. You're just, just good? It should be like, I'm doing great, man. I got my nitro cart uniform on. I got all of these trophies behind me. What could be better? Mm -hmm. All right, so Sophia is 10 years old. She's got a birthday coming up in just like, what, like 12 days from now. Is that correct? Yeah. Are you getting a new race car for your birthday? I don't know. Hopefully. Hopefully. No pressure, Mom. No pressure. So let's talk a little bit about some of Sophia's um, accomplishments. I know that in, the, in 2015, you were running for national points in the WKA, and you came in fourth place. That's awesome. Yep. Okay, and then we did the Kids Carts Route 66 Sprint Series in 2015 also. You brought in third place there. Now in 2017, last year, you also ran for national points in the WKA, and you came in fifth place. And the, in the Mini Swift F Series 2017 Formula uh, Micro ROK, you were the champion. Is that correct? Yes. And then in the GoPro Karting Club Championship uh, for Mini Swift, you brought in second place. So that's pretty stout credentials for um, a, a 10 year old. So at what age did you actually start racing? Five years old. You were five years old, so you've been racing for five, almost six years. Yes. So has that been a good decision? Are you glad that you're a race car driver? Yeah. <laughs> yeah? So what do all of your friends think about you being a race car driver, especially maybe some of the boys that are not into racing? What do they think about that? Uh, they think it's pretty cool. <laughs> they think it's pretty cool? So let me ask you a yeah. question, and I ask all of the girls that, that I interview this same question, so don't take it personally. Are you treated differently by your competitors because you are a girl? Yes, definitely. Definitely, and so tell me a little bit about that. How do they treat you differently? Do they think that, oh, she just can't, she can't compete, and then they're surprised when you blow right by them and pass them and actually win? Yeah, they are way more aggressive. They try to push me off the track. They do all the things they wouldn't do to their other competitors. So it just makes our lives much harder. Makes so, your much life yeah. harder. Well, guess what? I got a feeling that they're going to know who you are here um, in 2018 because I understand you're very, very competitive. So. Let's talk about something that most people wouldn't know about you. What would you want to share with, with the viewing audience that said, you know, if you went to my websites and my Facebook page, you wouldn't find this information out. So what's a little secret that you can share tonight? I love to cook. I cook a lot for my family. So, yeah. Well, if you ever need a place to come and stay, you can come down here to Florida. We have no snow <laughs> because what, what household wouldn't like to have a chef in their house. I, I think that's, a, that's, that's great. So right now we're going to do a little segment that we call Get to Know Sophia in 60 Seconds. Are you ready to go? Yes. All right. What is your favorite food? Tacos. Tacos. What is your, vi what is your favorite video game? PUBG. Okay. What's your favorite TV show? Uh, Iron Chef. Okay. Favorite color? Neon Pink. Do you have a favorite superhero? Incredible Hulk. Incredible Hulk. That's a good one. And what is, who <laughs> is your favorite race car driver? Um, Sebastian Vettel. All right. Very cool. And do you have a pet? Yes, two pets. And what do you got? Dogs. Two dogs. What kind are they? German Shepherds. Both German Shepherds. All right. So do they? Do you take them to the track with you? No, because they'll most likely attack other dogs. Oh, okay. I got it. All right. So 
I was going over some notes that you sent in, and one of them that really surprised me was a note that said that in 2017, you guys traveled over 36,000 miles. Is that right? Yes. And who does all the driving? My dad. Your dad? They don't let you drive yet? No. <laughs> so you can run a race car and you can race, but they won't let you drive out on the highway. I'll probably go bumper cars, oh, bumper cars. on the okay. highway. And I also saw a note that said that you practiced over 277 hours and competed against 460 different drivers in your class that included 58 races. That's a pretty busy schedule. Yeah. So what's that like to be out on the road, traveling all over the country, getting to run at different racetracks and meeting different racers from, from literally, you know, in the karting world, you're meeting different drivers from all over the world. It's pretty crazy. Like I get to meet so many new friends and we, I like miss a lot of school and I travel everywhere. So, so you miss a lot I of get to see a lot. So miss a lot of school. I hear that from a lot of, a lot of my drivers is homeschooling maybe in your future. Oh, uh, probably maybe not, but <clears throat> yeah. All right. So give us a quick rundown on your karting career um, so far for 2018. Um, WKA, USPKS, and club races, and if I improve, probably SCUSA. Probably SCUSA, all right. So that's a, that's a pretty big goal. So what was it like to actually win your first race? Was that like one of the high points of your life? Yeah, it was pretty amazing. Like, I was very proud of myself and proud of my mechanic, which was my dad at the time. So, yeah. Okay, and so where was that first race win at? Uh, Beaver Falls in Pittsburgh. Beaver Falls in Pittsburgh. So you said your racing mechanic at that time, have you fired your dad? Uh, kind of. <laughs> we had too many parts fall off. You had too many parts fall off. Well, you know what, that's, that's really a tough <laughs> job. I, I say all the time that parents and, and people that actually work in like the quarter midget arenas and the karting industry are some of the toughest workers, hardest working people in all of racing because it takes so much. You guys, you know, if you go to a NASCAR race or you go to an IndyCar race, you, you run like, you know, one race. And you guys are running multiple races over sometimes over a two or three day period of time. And that's tough to kind of keep up on the yeah. track changing and make sure that everything is running smoothly. So it takes a major team effort to be able to, uh, to pull that off. So what sacrifices have you made personally to be able to pursue your racing career? Time, money, and definitely a lot of energy. A lot of energy. Has it been worth it though? Yes, it's been very worth it. All right, so tell me who your biggest supporters are, even though I probably already know the answer to this, who are your biggest supporters in your racing career? My family, friends, my mechanic, um, the whole Nitro team, and Nick Tucker. So, Sophia, where do you see yourself in the next five years? F4 racing. And for those people that may not know, tell us a little bit about F4 racing and what, it, what type of cars and stuff is that? Is that kind of like an F1 car, but like smaller and maybe not as much horsepower and stuff? Yeah, it's kind of like an... Formula One car, except it's smaller. It's, it's like the step below Formula One to kind of prepare you for it. Okay, so hopefully it's a lot less expensive too, because I know that Formula One is really expensive, almost like yeah. almost somewhere near a million dollars plus per race. So the other question that I have for you we know where your sights are set. You know that you eventually want to get to Formula One. We know that you're F4 in between there. And, and I'm sure there's some other things that will pop up in between that. But when Sophie is not racing, what do you like to do? What are your hobbies? I love to cook and I also like to do MMA. 
All right, so MMA, guys, that stands for Mixed Martial Arts. So if you're out there on the track and you're thinking about pushing Sophia around, you might want to think twice about it because when you get back to the pits, you might have more on your hands than what you think about. So tell me a little bit what attracts you to the MMA side of that. Is that a lot to do with the discipline and you know, be, becoming very focused? Is that what attracts you to that? Yes, and for self-defense for because like there's a lot of boys pushing me around and bullying me off the track because I'm a girl and I race. So it's more for like self-defense too. So guys, if you're watching, there should be like a warning signal that's popping up right now that says, don't mess with me. So let's talk a little bit about who some of your sponsors are. Um, Nitro Car and Derego Construction Group. All right, so there you have it. Um, is there anything else, Sophie, that you want to share with the viewing audience before we, uh, before we end the show tonight? I just want to thank you for coming and letting and interviewing me and letting me have this opportunity. So here's the one thing. You will always know that you'll be the very first person to be on the WKA's Race Life Spotlight. You did a great job, Sophie. We hope that you have a great 2018 season. And when you win one of the national events, Will you come back and do another interview with us later in the year? Yes. All right. Well, there you have it. Everybody, thanks for tuning in tonight. Make sure to tune in next Thursday night at 8 o'clock. This show is going to be every Thursday night, 8 o'clock. It's available on Facebook. It's available on raceface.tv and also our, face, our YouTube channel at Raceface TV. So thanks for being with us, and we'll see you back here next week on Race Life spotlight have a great weekend go out and support local racing in your community and again we'll see you back here next week